Welcome to Success Series. Today, we are going to talk about double taxation. Double taxation. Now, let's dive into the concept. Now, what's the meaning of double taxation? Now, double taxation refers to the imposition of comparable taxes in two or more states or countries on the same taxpayer in respect of the same income. What does this basically imply? This implies that we have an income amount in which you apply you apply rates more than what one on it. So yeah, it could be that in one country you tax it, and when the amount is being moved to another country, you also tax it. And this amount must also relate to the same taxpayer. Now we could also see double taxation as or it occurs when an income or expenditure of a taxable person is levied twice for tax purposes. So from the name double taxation, in the case whereby a taxable amount yeah, in respect of a taxable person is levied twice for tax purposes. Now let's pick an example. One example could be that the taxation of income earned from outside Ghana by a resident person in Ghana, which is also tax in Ghana when brought into Ghana. So this implies that whereby someone works for a short contract outside and then gets an amount of income and then this income is being remitted to Ghana. In Ghana too, we have to charge tax on this and this will bring the concept of what double taxation. The person's amount will still be taxed what twice. Now in view of this, we have a concept we call the double taxation agreement or treaties. The double taxation agreement or treaties. Now these agreements or treaties are basically came into force in order to lessen this double taxation burden that a taxpayer will bear. It was seen as kind of unfair and a bit harsh to the taxable person. So due to that, there was the formation of a double taxation agreement to help in that regard. Now let's look at the double taxation agreement itself. Now the double taxation agreement here provides relief from the double taxation of income that accrues to residents of contracting state within either of the jurisdictions covered by the treaty. So here yeah, the treaty here is just going to be or refers to whereby there's an agreement between some two contracting states. Here yeah, the matter of the double taxation principle there will be a relief in order to lessen the tax burden of the taxable person. Now let's look at some countries in which this is seen or in which we have this double taxation agreement. So I said Ghana has double taxation agreement with the following countries. So France, Germany, the United Kingdom, South Africa, Italy, Belgium, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Portugal, Barbados, Denmark, and then the Czech Republic. So these are countries that Ghana has a double taxation agreement with. Now, what are some of the reasons for double taxation agreement? So we could see in the light of what are some of the benefits or why I thought we need this double taxation agreement. The first is that they create an environment of fiscal sustainability which encourages trade and investment. So the long and short of this point is that in a case whereby double taxation agreements are being what's implemented, it helps to create or encourages trade and investment between these contracting states or countries. The second is that it protects international shipping and air transport business. Then the third is that they create machinery for administrative cooperation between tax and authorities of the contracting countries. We have the fourth one, mistakes that they discourage the more oblivious forms of discriminatory taxation of foreign nationals and enterprises. And then they are for the exchange of information between relevant tax authority of the contracting state. So both contracting states here then come to us share some information on the taxation rules being applied. We also have that they also help prevent international tax avoidance and evasion. 
and then it will take tax payers against double taxation here from tax payers being what tax twice basically then the last one is that it gives foreign investment a stable and predictable tax environment and encourages investment in the country of the treaty partners so here it basically encourages investment by foreign investors now let's look at the types of the double taxation now we said the double taxation agreement will come to bear with two reliefs so we have because of that we have two major reliefs we have the specific exemptions which is stated in the agreement that's basically it it's a the item being enshrined in the agreement so yeah they are usually contained in a double taxation basically what agreement then we have the second one which is the tax credit relief tax credit relief and yeah the tax credit relief here is applied in the case of the absence of whereby there are no specific exemptions in the double taxation agreement so let's look at what it means this is the giving by the country of a resident in the form of allowance in respect of the tax of the country in which the income arises and it's normally given where the income is not covered by a specific exemption and then we have to know the procedure involved in calculating the double taxation relief in the case of the tax credit relief whereby there is no case of what a specific agreement between the parties what is the double taxation relief the way the procedure in arriving to our answer the first thing you have to know is you have to determine the gross foreign income and yeah, bear in mind the key word here is gross gross meaning the totality of the foreign income that you have in some questions you might see the net amount you need to what find the gross in order to work over here the next one is that you need to ascertain the total income to be subjected to tax in ghana and by the resident ghanian you are basically talking of our chargeable income so if you check our employment income series you have seen how we arrive at the total income or the chargeable income over here then the next step is that calculate the tax to be paid by the resident Ghanaian on the total income and based on his condition using the graduated tax table. Here, yeah, what it means is that here, yeah, apply the principles of the schedule in relating to accounting for tax liability to get the tax burden of the taxpayer, of the resident taxpayer. And here, yeah, so then you have to employ the use of the personal income tax table or the graduated income tax scale. And the next procedure is that you need to calculate the average tax rate for the Ghanaian. Average tax rate for the Ghanaian resident. When we talk of average tax rate, this also means the effective tax rate. Effective tax rate. And here is basically where you pick your tax that you have calculated and divide it by your total income. That's yeah, your chargeable income that's what we refer to as the total income over here now when you're done with that you have to determine the double taxation relief rate and yeah the relief rate you have to know is just the lower of your average tax rate and then the foreign tax rate so you yeah, compare the average tax rate with the foreign tax rate the rate which is lesser is what you use as your double tax relief rate then when you're done with that you apply the rate the double tax relief rate to the gross amount of the foreign income in order to obtain in order to obtain the tax credit relief to be applied or to which will help to reduce the tax burden of the taxpayer now let's pick a question which will complement our understanding of what we have done so far now the question so my partner is the accountant of Success Series Limited in Cape Coast. His gross salary for the year 2019 was 96000 for which he contributed 5.5% to the Social Security Fund. During the year, someone received investment income of 20000 from the United Kingdom, from which 5000 tax was paid in the, you know, in the U UK. In the UK. The Next proceed was remitted to him in Ghana in full. On the assumption that double taxation treaty exists between Ghana and UK, 
you are required to determine his tax credit if any and then a net tax payable so we are going to use this graduated income tax table to compute for the tax specifically now how do we go about it first bring your currency sign and remember you are going to here calculate the, when we check the step the first thing you need to do is to get your gross foreign income and this was stated in our question if you go back to the question it was stated in our question as it was stated in our question here as the 20,000 so that was the gross foreign income now since you have been able to attend the next thing is for you to get your chargeable income then you have to calculate our chargeable income when you your chargeable income you need your basic salary which is here is 96,000 then you add this foreign income to your basic salary you get 20,000 so you add it you get 116,000 116,000 then here you list your relief and the relief stated in this question was the social security relief so that was the only relief here and the social security relief you know that the percentage is 5.5 percent .5%. it's going to be 5.5 percent multiply by 96,000 which will give us 5,280 then we calculate for the chargeable income which will now be 110720 this is going to be our chargeable income then we come to the graduated income tax table so now as we know our chargeable income as 110720 we subject this to the chargeable to the graduated income tax table now in doing this in doing this we will need to yeah when the first amount here is three four five six and another that this amount the rate is what is free and the next is 1200 so yeah we are going to pick 1200 and we are going to multiply with the five percent which will give us the 60 over here the same applies to the next one which is one six eight zero multiply by ten percent this ten percent which will give us this amount one six eight then we pick the next one which is 36,000 multiply by 17.5 and then we'll get the 6,300 now when we get here bear in mind that once you are, you are, you are, you are, you are giving the graduating income tax you have to be checking the balance as well the balance always so yeah you ask yourself what was the chargeable income our chargeable income was 110720 so you'll be subtracting when once we got down with the first one once charging the first one you subtract and then you get to know the balance whether you can still continue and you subtract the next one you subtract the next one so when you got to the six thousand you realize that you couldn't charge any longer so you're left with the remainder for 68384 then with the 68384 you have to charge the percentage of 25 percent to get a 1796 and then we sum all the tax payable which will give us a total tax payable or our tax liability for the year will be 23,624,000. And we come into the calculation itself how to get a double taxation relief. And here to do that, you have, must first get a double taxation relief rate. And with that, we will need the effective, effective interest, the effective tax rate, which is the same as the average tax rate so yeah the average tax rate that you know or the effective tax rate you're basically your tax paid over your chargeable income so our tax that we paid was two three six two four over our chargeable income which is one one zero seven two eight then multiply by a hundred and that will give us an average tax rate of twenty one point three four percent then we get we have to also calculate the tax rate of the foreign one so that we compare and then get our double taxation rate. the foreign tax was five thousand and then the investment amount was twenty thousand which will give us a rate of twenty five percent so with this you ask yourself which one is lower which one is lower i guess you know you know you know the answer the lower one over here is twenty one point three four percent so that's what we are going to use that's our double taxation relief rate so our double taxation relief rate will be the 21.34%. Then we multiply this 
on the gross foreign income which is 20,000 and this will give us a double taxation relief of 4268 and this was the first part of our answer for our question A our question A asks us to find the double taxation relief which is 4268 and the second one we need to find the net tax that we expect to pay and finding the next tax that you are supposed to pay you first need the total tax we are supposed to pay which is the 23,624 then we less the double tax relief which we just calculated as 4268 and then we get our net tax payable as 19,3